So I'm going to install a um, walk-in insert and in the kit that I bought there's a template and this is it. It's theoretically the same size as the product. You might want to verify that mine wasn't exactly. But anyway, I took half the distance. You can see that black mark between the uh, front and back of the tub and then uh, figured out where the middle was and then took found out where the middle of the uh, insert was or how long the insert is and then divided that by two and then that measurement went from here to here and then I using the template I uh, used a magic marker and traced traced the sides and then I put blue uh, tape on it to keep the uh, to minimize the splintering of the fiberglass this tubs of fiberglass and to get the hole started you need a um, you need a cut off wheel and then you got uh, then you're going to use your um, sawzall with a short blade and uh, I've done the bottom so I'm going to uh, cut on the inside of the blue tape there and uh, then you do the same thing on the inside of the tub so it's a little bit of a project okay so I've cut on the front front side now here on the top it seemed like there was a brace or something inside there I couldn't use the uh, sawzall I had to use the the cutoff wheel and same thing this small cut here so because uh, the sawzall was kicking back at me but uh, anyway no problem but uh, it puts out a considerable amount of dust so wear a mask or better yet if you have some kind of a uh, vacuum attachment to your uh, cutoff wheel can minimize the uh, fiberglass dust that goes in the air especially if you want to do this for uh, customers cut it out I found it was easier sitting in the tub to cut it on the inside if you're really a large person that might be impossible but for me it worked also uh, the blue tape is good now as it helped minimize uh, splintering of the uh, fiberglass but you can you know you're generating dust you don't cover up your mark with the dust you can still see the blue tape through it I think with just a black felt tip mark there your uh, dust would cover up some of it and you're going to get a, end up with a wavy line so what to do next I'm going to make some uh, paper templates of left and right side and the bottom and transfer that to the uh, the uh, insert and cut them out with a jigsaw and stick it in see if it fits okay so I cut a template out left and right and uh, traced it and then connected the lines on the bottom I just went with the instructions it said one and five sixteenths inches from the bottom of the template to the bottom of the insert so that's an act of faith that that's going to work out and now I'm going to cut them out with a jigsaw blade you want to snap your blade so it's not too long and goes through and damages the other side of the um, product okay so I cut it out it all came out in one piece I used my templates and so now I'm going to see if it will fit remember the sloping side goes inside the top so let's see we put it right here let's see if we can get it to fit there it looks like it fit one thing I noticed the template was slightly longer than this and I thought well they knew what they were doing but you can see here I should have just made my own template from here to here and so I'm gonna have to okay so I cut a two by six to about five and a quarter inches because that's uh, the width there and it came with the kit and then uh, underneath it it's got two by fours all the way to the floor I had uh, two separate two by fours to move to uh, avoid the bracing of the shower it just depends on uh, your your model and then on the uh, sides I put wood in and then it was pretty close and then I used shims to get it a snug fit you could just trace it and cut the wood to fit but I used shims it was easier 
and then there on that two by six I put a couple things there because when I put the uh, insert in it uh, had the I could tell I wasn't right on top of that two by six so that's something to watch out for if you didn't get your uh, left and right sides exactly right uh, you might need to shim up on your uh, two by six so it contacts the bottom of the uh, insert when you step on it so with those two bamboo uh, uh, things there it uh, brought it up to the correct level so I'm gonna put it in okay so I gooped up a lot of things using liquid nails uh, you could use silicon too it should work I'll put silicon on the outside okay I'm ready to set the insert back in